I think we'll do one more pass, yeah? Yeah, boy. He hasn't had his run yet, so just he might wake up in a minute. Yeah, they're on the sounder. So what I'm doing here is, as I've uh, pulled in the dead bait, as because it, it would sink, I'm uh, cutting off one of my spinners and tying a live bait rig on to send back at the mackerel I seen on the sounder and try and get a double hook up. This technique worked for us on several occasions. Tell me when you're close. Good. As you would have seen then, I had hooks on the deck, spinners, rods in my way, so I had to clean them all up in expectation for this fish. You want to ensure all the boat deck is clear of rods and all stuff like that when boating the fish. I went back to just double check my drag and want a mackerel pull on that brand new Saltiga in. So just to ensure you double check your drag, because as I went to a new setup that I hadn't been using, I just had to double check it because you wouldn't want the fish to pull it in or miss the hook up as you didn't set the drag properly. Oh, that's FG. Yep, bring him around. Oh. No, he's going to fight. Gaffy, Gaffy, he's the one. Oh. <laughs> Fucking, I felt the hook pop out, eh? So this is the first session that I've taken the new boat out and we've all had those mornings when you're rushing around and uh, yes, I left the bait and the esky behind. So yeah, when I found this in the belly bucket, I was uh, wrapped. Oh, what's you got there? Well, I think we might troll this bad boy. Oh. Now this particular bait, I've uh, trolled on two different occasions and just chucked it back in the burly bucket after it's finished and refroze it. So once I got it out, I gave it a freeing up and got it swimming properly and sent it back. It didn't last long. Oh bro, look at that. Oh fuck, that one's alright eh? So now that we've only got one bait out the back, I thought it can't hurt just to throw a hard body on and just low troll that as well. Didn't even get it in the water. Yeah, look. Neutral, neutral, neutral.
Here you go, bro. Don't go slack on him. It's a good fish, bro, that. Yeah. Two minutes. He's hugging deep, eh? Hey? So he's gonna wake up, he's a good fish. Oh, he's getting real thumpy, eh? Hopefully he's grass. Here he comes, here he comes. Easy. Nice Spanish bro. Stay, stay there, stay there, keep him up, keep him coming. Yeah, right, just keep him coming. Alright, bring him up. Yeah. One more, one more loop, one more loop. There's a few other different style of bait uh, bait rigs here. This one here is, you know, your general live bait rig. Um, this one for slimy, trolled, skip baited across the surface. This one for a larger bait fish, such as your garfish. You know, this one's for your big bonitos and your mac tuna and stuff like that that you want to troll, your frigate tuna. The tackle you're going to require to make these rigs are crimping pliers, wire hooks, swivels, a range of trebles, and some crimp sleeves. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make a couple of rigs. We're not going to get down to making these ones, but it's pretty much the same concept, really. Without the skirts. Um, first we're going to be using these bigger trebles. Size one on VMCs. Uh, we're going to be using these crimps. All the swivels are just falling out. We're going to be using these swivels. Uh, there's some smaller hooks too. If you wish to have smaller baits, use these ones. Um, and also a top hook, 6.0, oh, it's a bit rusty, 6.0 oh, or 7.0, oh, whatever your preference is, the size of your baits. So, we'll start with this, this, this. Okay, 
So now we've got our piece of wire. You can see what needs to go on first. You get one of your crimps. Slide him on. Like so. Swivel. Bend your wire around. Poke him back through like that. And crimp him off. Now when you're crimping, you really want to take your time. Make sure you get this correct. Get it nice and closed up and tight. You never know when you get that big trophy fish that's going to come along. Last thing you want to do is have your tackle fail. So we want to trace about yeah that long. Get another crimp. You're going to need four of these crimps for each rig. You want to make that loop there too tight or too loose, you know. This is virtually the same concept as well when making chin weighted rigs. So for, instead of using this single top hook like this, it would be a single top hook with a lead weight on it. Which helps keep the, your dead bait chin down and nose down and swim straight. Squashing it right down, ensuring you get a firm hold. Looks pretty good. So now we've got that one. You can just run them like that if you like, you know. But I tend to always go the stinger. Same thing, bend him round, feed the tag end through the crimp. And crimp him off with your pliers. Now we've got that on. Last part of the system, we we'll get our crimp. Always start with your crimp. That there, that rig, fly bait rig, and it's the same concept as these chin weighted rigs I'm about to show you now. Fly bennets, and there's a rig. And that there wouldn't cost, you know, five, six dollars, nothing more. You can see here a range of different style of rigs from different sizes to different techniques. I like to take this all the time so you've got all bases covered.